My name is Elisa, this is Lothan Door Kids. I know I've been neglecting you for a while and I'm really, really sorry. Bad, bad vlogger, but I'm back now. And all this time I've been away thinking creatively and I need to tell you that I have had a change of heart regarding my aesthetics. So if you've been with me for a while, you obviously know my love for florals, patterns of all sorts, stripes, polka dots, um, you know, bright colours and the combination of thereof. Um, I thought about it and I've decided to take a different direction now. So, you know, I'm working with Vicky Sows um, and I'm translating for them and therefore I have had a really nice... <laughs> free access pretty much to all their patterns so I've had a good ramage and I've decided to create a autumn slash winter collection made mainly with Vicky Sos patterns um, and I will talk you through it basically the whole idea of it is that my collection is going to be pretty much monochrome it's going to consist of mainly navy and dark blue and maybe medium blue so like different shades of dark blue and different shades of white off-white cream stone that sort of thing so it's going to be tone on tone and then in there there's there are going to be a couple of garments that will combine those two colors with maybe addition of one more or two more colors so it's going to be very quite plain color wise but is going to be nice strong basics that i will be able to mix and match within the same color um, and then also have the addition of a slightly more kind of patterned garments that will bring it all together so i've already started and um, i've ordered a few fabrics from myfabrics.co.uk um, they have the most brilliant selection of plain colors and I've I've ordered from them before they're not cheap they're not overly like super expensive but they're not cheap so whatever I've ordered that I'm about to show you is very much targeted purpose so I know exactly what I'm going to do with it so first of all let me start with what I've already cut out this this is a scrap of material and I tell you why I had a change of plan super quickly so um, this is a, a trouser Jacqueline which I just checked and they have already been translated so you can make your own um, I've ordered this gorgeous viscose polyester kind of blend fabric it's absolutely gorgeous it's very flowy it's obviously navy blue it has elastane in it so it stretches uh, widthwise um, and a tiny bit actually lengthwise um, and um, <laughs> I kept this pinned because this is a scrap and I need to remember the direction of it so I've ordered two and a 2.3 meters of this fabric and I've realized I have loads of leftover fabric left so I've cut out two main trouser pieces and I was like what am I gonna do with all this fabric what a waste and so I went back on their site and I found the absolutely gorgeous waistcoat. And waistcoat is called Liliana. I don't think it's been translated yet, so I will double check. But this is what I'm making from the leftover. So I'm positioning the pieces of Liliana waistcoat in between the trouser fat. And it just about enough. It literally just about enough. Everything is on the grain, so I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> Um, so that's my first two makes. Then to go with it, I will be making a shirt. I think I'm going to go with Stintia shirt um, or some other slightly oversized shirt to go with this. So it's going to be again blue on blue. Everything is the same-ish kind of uh, color, maybe slightly different shades. This fabric is a 
cotton silk mix and I'll show you it's foil and it is I don't know if you can tell, but it actually has a tiny bit of like a shimmer to it. It's probably not, <laughs> but um, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, and it just feels like, you know. And obviously, I know that with this fabric, a it will either go under that waistcoat or b I will have to put patch pockets here. <laughs> um. And yeah, and just maybe put some other stuff over it, you know, um, maybe I, I'm knitting a vest at the moment I'm gonna knit another vest maybe in blue. So, you know, things like that So it's just like a piece that is extremely beautiful and comfortable next to my skin But then I'm gonna layer it with something else to maybe I don't know I have to see how sheer it is when I finish it. So right, so that's it. So that's the first three things. So that's my navy blue I also already had in my stash this cotton short cotton short fabric and it looks like almost like dupioni silk it's slightly lighter but it still goes with everything blue and it's again it's going to be an oversized shirt that I'm going to be wearing with my Jacqueline trousers and other things so that's another possibility then I've got this gorgeous stripe um, and I do believe I've actually ordered this one from my fabrics the code that you get I have to check I'm pretty sure I've ordered it like a year ago and again this is going to be something to break up the blue maybe or even at the moment they wear these really big oversized shirts like Cynthia's shirt so maybe that's the one I'm gonna make the Cynthia out with and they wear them with leggings or like very thin kind of stretchy bottoms and big boots so I'm about to go shopping for big boots so again it's a possibility and then the last one is I've had this piece of denim that I've got from the textile center and I've had it for a couple of years now oh gosh it's stretchy it's medium weight so I'm thinking um, a pair of jeans wide leg if I have enough fabric so I will have to play around with what I have and just see what I can make but something like either mom jeans or some sort of like a wide-ish jeans maybe not bootleg I don't know I'll, I'll have to think about it another thing is that I have been also looking a lot at trends and what's trending at the moment you know I've lived my whole life wearing whatever I wanted and most of the time I didn't even know what I wanted or what suited me and now you know for the past few years I've decided I loved vintage so I was making like a vintage inspired like floral things and floaty things and now I actually want to play trends <laughs> I actually want to play the game of what's what's current what well, at the moment you know what's like what's fashionable I've never done that and there's nothing wrong with that and I just want to do that right now so obviously you must have heard by now that skinny jeans are out apparently and the wide leg jeans or wide leg pants are in so wide leg they can widen from the hip or they can even be like normal fit to the knee and then widen from the knee like a bootleg you know that sort of thing so anything that has like a relaxed like a palazzo even silhouette to it which Jacqueline is perfect for then I've also made trouser router a mitt in the pockets which are an absolute breeze to me and I worn mine so much and because it's like a cheap white stretchy polyester they are looking quite grabby by now and I literally worn them several times every week so in place of that I have bought myself this I bought myself this from my fabrics that code UK again and this is again a mix of viscose and polyester for sure and with this one sorry, I'll be able to wear my blue 
my white, my black, my beige, my, you know, even like a little kind of like a maybe shaded blue kind of shade. I think it'll, it'll still go with it. So I think this is a very versatile print. And at the same time, it's not in your face. You know, it's quite like a standard, not stand, stand out ish, if that's a word. <laughs> Um, he's in my universe. So it has a stretch, a little stretch. Um, yeah, just um, crosswise. And yes, out of this fabric, I'm going to make white pants for winter and I'm going to wear all sorts of things with it because everything will go. So I'm super excited about that. I will put the links to everything I'm talking about if I can find it, definitely from my last shop. I'll put the links to. Then the last thing I got from my fabrics.co.uk this time is a mix of linen and viscose jersey. <laughs> and this one actually snapped up on sale, but they do have them full price. And it's like slubby, you know, like look how gorgeous it is. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like, it's very stretchy. It's quite... It's hard to describe it's quite like a woody feel to it but um it's very lovely like to the skin again i'm now obsessed with all the natural fibers so out of this one um i think i got like a 1.8 or something i'm gonna make some sort of top um i don't know i don't know what top i'm gonna make out of it but it will definitely go is this yes so again um i don't know how much i'm going to be mixing white and blue because for my height and my build my whole silhouette my whole outfit has to be a similar color so that it looks like a one ensemble 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 yeah is that what you say <laughs> Anyway, that's that. Then I'm going to make a winter. Let me just talk about winter coats super quickly. So I've ordered some samples. I'm waiting for some more samples. These are from my fabric.co.uk. They come in like this and they have like all the info in the back. So I've got this one here. What is it saying? 75% wool, 20% wool. I don't know why, why is it like a different wool and 5% polyester. Super squidgy, super duper squidgy. So cute. Um, this one is mm, quite pricey, but then it's, but the look of it is 95% uh, wool, so why not? Um, I don't know about how this, it's kind of beigey, it's not very white. I was thinking of more like a white kind of, like this kind of white, you know, like off-white maybe, or like a stone white or something. So they only have it in one color, right? So that's that. Then this one is 80% polyester, 18% viscose, and 2% spandex. And this is like quite thin, compacted, you know? Um, so with this one, they have a lot, a lot of colors. So I literally just got this color for like, because I just had to pick one, but it can be any color I like. And it could be a little bulky sewing it up together because when you go to your like sleeves and in intersecting you know um when you're attaching things together so it's quite it's quite bulky as in with this one you can actually squish it and it's not as bulky and it's quite pliable so that's that then <laughs> i got this one this one is just so much fun like i can only imagine like i don't like matching pattern matching don't like it it's my pet peeve out of all the things that people don't like this is my pet peeve um 90 polyester 10 percent wool it's really good quality and it has a back like this so it definitely has to have a lining because it's not very pretty but um I love it. I don't know. I think maybe as an additional 
as an additional piece maybe I could make I don't I don't know how much will to live I will have after making one coat I've never actually made a full lined coat before no I've made some jackets and stuff I don't know I'll just have to see but this is my favorite anyway this is my favorite and I think I'm gonna buy it before I pop <laughs> before I post it on YouTube because I want it so bad and this one is 70% um, wool 30% polyester and it is 26 pounds a meter you guys 26 pounds a meter so it's quite an investment but I think it would look just so cute and it would go with white it would go with even go with blue you know and it's quite a classic kind of retro like a herringbone like an 80s kind of look um, and you know how I like it after watching re-watching and re-watching The Working Girl with Melanie Griffith again so I think this would be my choice or at least of the first coat so that's that and another thing is I went shopping to Vicky Sews um, for fabrics and um, I have chosen a trench a set of fabrics for the trench coats and that includes main fabric which is going to be like a um, medium blue color it includes I think it includes interfacing includes lining and the buttons the threads I don't think I've had threads I think I can get the threads here but that's basically what's coming then on top of that I've ordered what I thought was a cotton like a variation of the terry cotton terry fabric and it was not it turned out it's three three and a half meters because I've watched all these girls making these sets of like hoodies and and trousers and pants you know and I wanted it so badly and I've ordered three and a half meters and then I've realized I've actually ordered three and a half meters of ribbing <laughs> yes I only it only happens to me so on a Sunday I had to bother everybody on the like in-house like company chat rooms and private messages to like people who cut it and dispatch it and source all sorts of things and anyway it got sorted so I've exchanged it thankfully for the same same price that I paid for it I just swapped what I wanted and it was two meters of really gorgeous like a sky blue jeans like a denim and also two meters of I think it was two meters of like a t-shirt fabric to kind of go with it so anyway and so that got dispatched on a Tuesday on a Friday DHL tried to deliver my parcel so it literally only takes three days to get here from Russia mind you I did pay about 30 quid for shipping you know but the good news is it's going to be here on Monday so I'm going to tell you all about it on Monday in my next vlog so stay tuned um, so that's another thing I'm going to be making trench coat and also you know a couple of a few other things tops and bottoms I don't think I'm into skirts right now so maybe none none of a skirt I don't know maybe a dress I don't know but this is a start and the start of a monochrome phase in my life where I actually tune it down like when did you think that would happen ever like would you ever think that would happen with me like look behind me crazy flowers bloody magician coat insane polka dots and okay that's cute <laughs> but you know what I mean like I was always like Rawr, in your face trying something new what do you reckon would you support my new idea of style I don't know let me know um also because of that I'm having a big de-stash like crazy de-stash I've posted I think 40 over 40 fabrics already on my de-stash account I'm gonna put the link below I'm also gonna put um, a name here go check it out it's unfortunately only for the UK I'm sorry guys but I will see how it goes postage wise and that because I've never done it before so probably next time I will be doing it worldwide you never know and also um, I have 
I don't know, like 20 more fabrics to go. So again, go check it out. In there, there are quite a few things, like if you've been watching my vlogs, you'll recognize most of the fabrics. And yes, some of the florals are going. So that's my news. That's what's happening. I'm quite happily, happily relaxed after being on holiday for a week, not doing anything. I have my knitting going on, which I will talk about in a different vlog. I finished one sweater, I started another one. Um, yeah, things are happening in a quiet, like relaxed sort of way, because that's what we like. <laughs> I hope you guys all happy and okay. And I hope you miss me too much. I want to say hope you didn't miss me too much, but I hope you did. So there you go. Stay tuned. Love you all. Keep sewing. Bye-bye. I'm changing. I'm changing.